Hello everyone, my name is Tim Haslam and I'm a web developer at Code Green, or a web development shop in Salt Lake City. And today I'm going to be doing a basic tutorial on HTML and CSS. Now I've got some basic, basic HTML here. Um, you have your HTML head or tag, you have your head tag with the title of the page, you have a body tag with a paragraph tag inside of that. Now, this is basic HTML. To get basic CSS, uh, we'll just do a new, and then we'll come down to CSS and we'll write a basic CSS. So let's say we have a bunch of these paragraph tags and we want to make them all red. So then I would enter P and then I do this, which is the brackets, um, and then I do color and then you put in the hex code for red. Oh, and then we save it as untitled CSS and it's saved. Now if we go to our browser and try to look at the page, um, Let's see what happens. Uh, it's still black. Okay, so we'll come back to our HTML, and in here we'll do a link. Hit tab. It's a style sheet, and then it's just uh, it's relatively located. So we didn't call it anything but untitled. We'll take the caps lock off. Untitled. Type is CXS. We don't need that. That. So we'll delete that, and we have this is linking to our style sheet. So if we save that and then go back to our browser, hit refresh, hey it's red. Um, now let's go back in here and maybe we want to maybe we want this to show up a little more centered. Um, so we can do a margin and then there's four numbers. So the first one is top, so we want a top picks or a top margin of 10. This one is right, so you go in a clockwise fashion. And so we want a 10 pixel margin, right? Say for the bottom we only want it to be 5 pixels and the left we want it to be 300 pixels. We save that and we'll go to our page and there we go. So what's going on here is there's a top margin so from the top of the page to the top of the text is 10 pixels and from here to here it's 300 pixels. If anything were below it, it would be 5 pixels below it and if anything were to the right of it, it would be, what do we say, 10 pixels. Um, so that's basic CSS. Well, let's say you wanted to underline it. Come in here and you do text decoration, underline, save it. Come back to here, press refresh, and it's underlined. Uh, maybe you want to do uh, background color on the whole thing. So the body, and then background. And then let's do color. And let's make it blue. And then come back here. And what do you know? The whole background's blue, your thing is red. Now let's say if you want to make this a link. And we'll come into our HTML and we'll put an A tag, which means anchor. And then we'll put in the URL codegreen.com and then we put a backslash to close that tag. So anything in between this closing A tag and this opening take A tag will be a link. And we'll save that. We'll hit refresh. And it's blue, or it's purple. And we'll fix that in a minute, but just to prove it works, let's hit that. Hey, what do you know? Code green. Okay, we'll go back to here. And let's say we want to make that, we don't like how that shows up, and so it's in an A tag. And then we'll make the color white. And we'll come back here, and it's white. Maybe we don't want it underlined anymore. So you can either take it off up here. If we take it off up here, it should still be there. And it is, because the default in for A tags is to underline it. So let's say we don't want it underlined. Text decoration, none. Come back here, hit refresh, and it's gone. So that's a basic tutorial on HTML and CSS. But we're offering a free report. It's called Six Easy Steps to a Successful Website. If you go to getcodegreen.com and then uh, enter your name, email, and phone number, press submit, it'll be emailed to you, and then we'll follow up with you later. Um, but again, it's getcodegreen.com. Thanks for watching.